piano and the online violin tutor. Um, this is a video today about um, how to bow nice and smoothly um, on the violin. So if you've ever wondered um, how the professional violinists get to, get to uh, use their bow so smoothly um, and when you're listening to recordings or you're watch, if you're watching them you can't seem to see where they're changing bow and it doesn't sound like they're changing bow. Hopefully what I'm going to show and help you with today will give you an insight in, in how we do that and how to get your bow moving nice and smoothly. So um, this is quite a, a difficult video and possibly a difficult one for you guys to practice but if you can nail it, um, and it won't be an overnight thing, it will be a, a good lot of practice, um, but there are things that you can use to practice um, outside when you're sort of out and about and things which I'll, I'll, I'll tell you about later. Um, but one thing I've, I've noticed that when students play is that um, it's almost very kind of um, sort of uh, rigidly, uh, they play rigidly uh, in, in a sort of way, um, kind of something like and they can't seem to work out why their bowing isn't so smooth and really all of that is down to the fingers moving, having that flexibility with moving the fingers with the bow. So at the very start, uh, one of my videos was how to hold the violin and how to hold the bow. And one of the points I really, really did reiterate was having that thumb bent when you're holding your bow. Not having the thumb arched, having that thumb bent. And I think I do recall saying that if you have the thumb bent, it will help you in the future. And now it's going to help you because having that thumb bent is going to mean that you'll be able to move your fingers. So a lot of you might not be able to do this but eventually what you want to be able to do is pull the wood of the bow into the palm of your hand by basically moving your fingers. So I'm bending at the, at the first knuckle here just in between, just not, not my actual knuckle, just you know the first finger knuckle I guess if you like. So I'm trying to do that with my fingers without dropping the bow. An easy way to do that I think is if I hold the bow with my left hand, so this is very very unusual for me to do this, to hold it with my left hand, but it kind of gives me an idea of, of what it's like for you guys when I'm, I'm teaching you all this and, and also how you know what sort of problems you lot have when when trying to do this so it's still very difficult for me to do and this is my left hand I can only do it to a certain extent I think because I know what fingers and, and I know how to do it in my right hand so at least I've got some insight into it but you can see how my left hand is moving quite sort of so so freely um, and my thumb is sort of slipping out a little bit at the back when I when I bend. But if you can if you can just practice trying to bend those fingers, you're trying to move the knuckles down towards the floor, almost so it's so it's kind of inside out. I'll show you from this angle. What you can do is take a pencil or a pen or something and just practice it when you're at home or you know at the office wherever randomly anywhere out and about just practice trying to move move it on the pencil so once you've got that okay be practicing that next stage that you can do on the violin is now this is I warn you this is going to sound awful 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 but it's not the sound we're interested in it's the movement of the wrist and the the bow on the string so it's meant to sound awful so don't panic about the sound because it sounds awful for me it's going to sound awful for you but that's good you're on the right track so what you want to try and do is put the bow so that you're on the string, any string, A string, D string, and so it's just about where this, this index finger is. Then I'm going to try and move the bow up and down a little bit by just moving my fingers only. So I'm just pushing the bow up and down with my fingers. So that movement I just told you about, moving your fingers, or move, bending at the knuckles, 
that's what I'm doing. So when I'm pushing my knuckles down, the bow is going downwards. When I'm trying to extend my hand and push my knuckles up, it's pushing the bow upwards. So the sound is horrendous, but it's the movement that we want. So I'm not actually moving my arm at all. Nor am I trying to move my wrist, I'm just moving my fingers. So this is a very, very, very difficult movement, probably uh, harder than harmonics, harder than double stopping, um, harder than anything I've ever done on the violin, harder than spiccato bowing, all the other types of silly bowings that you get. This is probably one of the hardest techniques that personally I've ever done and I've had to teach anybody to do. But it's one of those things that if you can get it and you can nail it, it's going to pay itself dividends. So... Do not move the arm up and down. We're not doing any of that. We're literally trying to move the bow centimetres just by bending our finger. So this is the movement that I'm trying to do on the violin and then when I put the bow onto the string and do the same movement it just happens to push the bow up and down. So once you guys have got the hang of that, uh, which I know is very difficult, how that actually goes into to real life playing? Well, when you're moving up and down the bow, as I've said before in my other bowing videos, that the wrist will start to come up, the wrist where my hairband is will start to come up, and then what you will do is use the finger movement to start to push your bow down. as I'm making the, the change from going if I try and bow as smoothly as I can without moving my fingers I still get the uh, uh, uh kind of sound at the top there's no getting away from it but if I try and bridge that sound almost you can see what I'm doing. I'm actually bending my fingers and before I extend them again to drag the bow down. So when the bow is coming up, the fingers are extended. When I start to drag the bow down, I bend my fingers, thus kind of um, smoothing uh, the change there bending my fingers and then slowly bringing them back down again. It's easy to make an up bow nice and smooth, but it's very hard to get that down bow nice and smooth. So this this is a really difficult video to explain. and I'm, I'm hoping that um, something has come across to you guys with this, but first stage you need to do just to go over it all again is to hold the bow and be able to bend those fingers like this. Okay, then try and, you can keep doing that if you like, slowly bring it towards the violin. If you just put, if you, if you sort of just start it, once you've got the hang of this, if you just did this, dropped the bow onto the violin at the same time it's still doing it, then, then the bow would actually move a little bit. Then the third and final stage would be to actually use that technique when you're coming up from an up bow, moving into a down bow to try and make it nice and smooth. So I'm hoping that you can see that. Um, 
So that's how you uh, bow nice and smoothly so when you change the bows you, you don't get that awkward kind of sound or that silence or the, the big fat change between going from an up bow to a down bow um, and vice versa. So that's uh, uh, a little technique that you can use to try and help make the bow um, smooth. It is an advanced technique, um, I will tell you that, but it's a really good technique if you just want to go from, from sort of, uh, if you want to go up into the next kind of advanced sort of stage. Um, and eliminate um, the jaggedness and try and make it a bit smoother. So thanks very much for watching. I really, really do hope that that has helped some of you guys and I'll catch you all next time.